Hey guys, we'll be back to this new video tutorial with the Ugandan developer and OSP Pro. In this video tutorial, actually, I'm going to show you how to create a simple login form using one of us, a Microsoft Excel Office, actually, 2013. So in this video, actually, I happen this is a demo which I'm going to show you. If you try to open here and actually try to give the wrong username, maybe uh, the username is that's the username and the password, it will give you this information: the username or password combination incorrect. And if I happen to give the correct username here, which is called OSP, and then the password, which is actually given as OSP123. And if I happen to click here, guys, trust me, the second login form, actually, or the second form will pop up for us. So, guys, let us now try to see how can we create this within a very quick period of time or short period of time. It was as an exit button whereby when I click on it, guys, trust me, I, the window has to pop up and try to actually hide. Now, I believe, let me try to just close everything here so that I don't again now confuse you guys. Just close everything. I close everything. Then I actually happen to show you uh, something fresh. So this is how machines just go to Excel as usual to your machine. Uh, click Excel, open Excel. Make sure that you select what known as uh, the blank uh, book. And then come in. Now I know you guys will not have this developer in your machine. Go to files, uh, options. Then make sure you select one known as customize ribbon. Then go to your develop tool. You'll define your develop tool and tick. Give it, uh, mark it. Then it's actually say OK. So you'll be having a developer tool by that time you're cleaning your machine. Now, the thing that you're going to insert in this machine here is one known as the Visual Basics, and we are going to insert one known as a user form or a form. So come in here and add a form, and this is going to be the first username form. You can come in and actually change the for color of the form depending on how actually you would like it uh, to be on your screen or how would you like it to be. So if that's our first username form, I'm just going to come in here and insert a label. I'm just going to insert here one simple label. Uh, which label is going to be actually a simple login form? Let me just try to change that for color. And also the text, the font. I try to just make something simpler, uh, make life simple. Something just like that. So that's all for us, guys. We have. Let us just try to add the username. Actually, the the another text box for I mini mean label for uh, the username. It's going to be for our username, and then I'm just going to drag it down so that I don't waste time. For now, uh, this is going to be for our password. So, guys, let us just copy all of the two. We just happen actually to come here down. And try to actually increase that font very fast. That's enough. And then I also just actually change the type uh, to some kind of white. And I just drag it like this. And I try to increase it. So far, the password and the username is done. So guys, just let us just actually try at the moment put one on us uh, the text box whereby we'll be entering the user's first name and actually also add the password of the user. Just like that. So let us click on it, hold control, and just let us just try to increase on that font. Make it bold and also make it actually 16. Something like that, which is so far cool. So let us just now add one of the exit buttons. Let us just add buttons on our program. That's the first button. And let us just pick for the second button for the login. Just like that. So I'm just going to pick this stuff and actually try to raise it somewhere there. This one, just name it and actually call it one known as the exit. And then this one, just call it login. So for the design is okay. So guys, let us just drag here and try to increase that font very well so that actually guys, we have something that is presentable and seen. So increase that very fast and then guys, trust me, the thing will be looking like that. So double click here on the exit very fast and then this exit we shall be adding one on us me dot hide. For this case here I don't talk much. I'm just going to call it one on us me uh, dot hide. That's actually what I'm going to generate here uh, very fast. So if I happen to run this program like this and I click here it will just be exiting the program. So I think guys you can now see uh, if I happen just click on exit button 
it will just go off straight away that's so far good so let us just go back to our double click, double click on, our, double, on our form and we're going to work on now on this one on the login now don't forget now the username they want for text box username you have text box one and then the password they will be able for password is having text box two let us go to text box one and to change this one to one on us text user and then also then for password just call it actually tx txt pass just like that then now that implies so far we are good let us just go and create another new form just click on insert user form which is going to be actually our second form and i'm, I'm just going to give here what known as a single big good label and i call it uh second form just something like that second form and i'm just going to increase that font uh, very fast so that guys you can see it very well our second form something like that and maybe let me even change that for color to a very color that of my choice uh something like that and let me change the uh the for color to kind of white so guys so for the form second form is also done and i'm now just left to do the coding here on the login so guys now double click on this login very fast double click on the login and you're going to just put a if condition here what are the condition i'm going to say i'm going to say text if text user is equal to having one on us the one i would like maybe osp and text for the password or pass is equal to actually having what known as uh, maybe OSP uh, one two something just like that. Then what will happen? So I have to just close the if statement and then I say then generate from what known as the user form or user uh, form, which is our second form uh, dot show. That's what I'll say simply here. This is what I mean here is that if the the, the, the person have the user happen to give the you the user in the, in the text box one the username as OSP and the password as OSP one two then actually the second form should show up else we expect this what else condition to pop up for us giving us a message box uh, which is going to be just displaying for us a message that wrong actually wrong username or password combination wrong username or password combination that tells what will be popping up for us on the screen so guys just see here right now very well if i actually happen to click here and i give the username as osp and then the password as osp12 this is what will happen the second name oh i didn't give the else in oh sorry for that let me just actually happen to give it uh here down and if something like that and that's so far great if i click here the second form has to pop up very great that's so so nice guys if you try to just click here the second form has to pop up so let me just repeat by giving the exit if i happen to click here now oh sorry if i just click and i put the username or maybe even something wrong and with the p and then the login that's the wrong username or password combination guys let us change this password so that looks like your password so you just come down here and click on the password where the only way the password the text for password and look for known as password share uh just some here down and give the character any character of your choice we should like to be displaying by the time when the user happen to give in the password so guys this is what will happen when i just click here and I say osp which is the username and then the password as osp12 trust me the password the information should pop up like this so guys thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe to osp channel thank you very much